We have already said hello to a lot of new faces this summer at Hearts, but now it looks like it's time to say goodbye to some as Toby Civic becomes the second first team player to leave the club in the space of a week. Welcome back guys to Son of Scotland TV. Alex Cochrane has joined Birmingham City. He was the first big player to leave Hearts in the space of the last seven days. And now it is Toby Sibbick's turn to leave as he has joined Wigan Athletic. Now, Toby Sibbick, I thought, was an okay player for us. He was decent. At times, he looked like he could be someone that would maybe break into the first 11 and stay there. But consistently, I just don't think he really had it. You know, he did have a lot of mistakes in him. As good as he did look at times, he could look like a bit of a bomb scare. Plus, we already knew that Toby Sibbick was going to be leaving this summer. Uh, Stephen Naismith pretty much said it, that he was going to move on Toby Civic and Nathaniel Atkinson. So, not really surprised to see Toby Civic go. And of course, you know, I don't really like to see any player leave Hearts, but I think this is a good deal for both in fall. Now, the defender's permanent switch to the Latix is currently an undisclosed fee. So, we don't know how much it's going to be. If I had to guess, possibly, maybe couple hundred thousand, not too sure, undisclosed. Toby is obviously 25 years old, he joined us in 2020 during a loan spell, uh, he returned in 2022, made 87 appearances for the club, he only scored one goal, but what a goal it was, that third goal to complete the 3-0 win over Hibs in the Scottish Cup at Easter Road, that break at the end, Toby Civic running through, a little dink over the goalkeeper on 10 man hearts defeat at Hibernian. I mean, he only scored one goal, but hell, if you can only score one, he made sure it was a good one. Now, Stephen Naismith spoke about Civic leaving, and he says, quote, I had an honest conversation with Toby, and I told him the chances to play first-team football were going to be limited. That's natural in football, as your squad evolves over time, so it makes sense for him to move on. I'm happy that he's got a move to a good club. Toby is an excellent professional, and I'm sure he'll do well at Wigan. I thank him on behalf of everybody at the club for all his efforts at Hearts and wish him and his family all the best for the future. End of quote. And I feel the same with uh, Naismith. I, you know, I did enjoy Toby Sibbick. He had a decent time at the club, a few years at the club. Like I said, that, that goal was so sweet. One of the, the best goals I can definitely remember against Hibs in recent memory. However, going forward, building forward, I, I just don't really see Toby Sibbick as a starter for Hearts and his time probably would be limited this upcoming season and he's 25 years old, he doesn't want to have a, a limited role when it comes to first team football so I don't think he's quite at the level to be starting for us or you know constantly in and around the starting 11 and I don't think he wants to be sitting on the bench either so it's a good move for Hearts in my opinion, it's a good move for Toby Sibbick. And it'll be interesting to see how he gets on at Wigan Athletic. And I would like to know the amount that we got from him. Because I think it would be decent. I think we could get a couple hundred K for Toby Sibbick. But right now we don't know as it is being labelled as an undisclosed fee. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, we did spend a lot of time early in the summer bringing in players. Now we seem to be seeing players leave Tyne Castle. Uh, could that be a trend that continues? Will we see any more players come in? Or has Stephen Naismith perhaps got all his business done early and maybe the only transfers we'll see going forward will be players leaving the club. I hope that's not the case because I would still like to bring in one or two. If the transfer window ended right now, I would be happy. But if we're going to lose a couple more players, then I would maybe like to bring one or two in. And of course, there's always Lauren Shankland. Um, the rumours are we're going to be losing him pretty much every single transfer window. He's linked with a move to other clubs and especially Rangers. So, look, I want to keep the team we've got right now. Stick or twist, you offered me this squad. Transfer window closes right now. I'd stick. I'd take it. I think this is a good team that we have. But who knows? There's still quite a long time to go. About five months. Not five months, five weeks. Five weeks of the transfer window. And I do think we'll see things continue to be shaken up at Tynecastle. So I think we'll get... I think we'll see more players leave than come in, but I still think we may get one or two more signings. At least I'm being hopeful. Anyway, guys, that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Toby Civic, decent player, great goal against Hibs. Thanks for the memories. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.